welcome to my outdoor read aloud series. All of the stories in this series are focused on getting outside. So this summer, go outside, play, enjoy the fresh air, but when you're ready for a break, if you need to cool down a little bit, come inside and take a listen to one of these stories. Today we are reading How to Find a Bird by Jennifer Ward. How to find a bird. There are a lot of ways to find a bird. That's the wonderful thing about birds. To find a bird, first you'll want to blend in and move slowly. Quiet is good too. So quiet, you can hear your heartbeat. Shh. Don't just look up to find a bird. Look down, low to the ground where some birds forage, seeking things hiding in the earth. Look down where some birds sneak snacks. Look down where some birds splash. If you take a walk, watch your step. Some birds nest on the ground. So don't just look up to find a bird. Sometimes you can find a bird by looking straight ahead. You will have to have a sharp eye, sharp as an eagle's eye. Birds are the cleverest blenders of all. At first, you may not see them, but if you wait, if you are still, and if you are quiet, you'll see. You are just as clever as a bird. Of course, you can always look up to find a bird too. You can look up high in the sky where birds fly. Sometimes when you look up, you'll find birds simply sitting. If you could perch high in the sky, what might you see? If you want to find a bird, don't be tricked. Some birds are stealthy. There it is. Wait a minute, where'd it go? Was that even a bird? Sometimes you don't need to find a bird. It will find you. Some birds will announce their presence when they are near or announce your presence when they see you. Hello, Jay. And if you feed them, they will come. Then all you need is a window to find a bird. Some birds can't be found at all unless you read about them. These birds are extinct, which means they no longer exist. But the best way to find a bird if you want to find one, is to close your eyes. Do you hear that? Do you hear that bird? That's the wonderful thing about birds. We can all be bird watchers. Bird watching is as simple as opening our ears and eyes to the sights and sounds around us. Here are some tools and tips. If you liked this story, head to the library or bookstore and grab your own copy of How to Find Birds. As you saw as we were reading it, each of the birds in the illustrations are labeled and it has a wonderful guide at the end all about how you can be a bird watcher. I hope you loved today's story as much as I did. Remember, if you want to see more of these videos, make sure that you hit subscribe so that you can find the rest of the videos in the series. Have a great day.